All right, the next semantic tag that we're going to talk about is the header tag. And I'm sure you realize that pretty much every website on the internet has a header. It's got the logo in it. It's got the navigation in it, usually some calls to action. They all look pretty much the same. Uh, some are fancier than others, but it is where it is. It's like usually glued to the top. Sometimes you'll see it in the sidebar. doesn't really matter the location, uh, but it does need a semantic header tag. Now, there's a difference, like in the last video, when we talked about the main tag, I said there can only be one main tag on a page, but that is actually not true with the header tag. So let's talk about it. First things first, we are going to get the main header of the website out of the way. So we're going to go over to templates once again. We're going to go back to our index template once again. We're going to see our trusty main tag that we talked about in the last video. And I'm going to click the section element down here to add a new section. Reason being, I want the section structure. I want an outer wrapper with an inner container because that container is going to be the, the width of my website content. And I want everything to be nice and consistent. I'm going to drag that so that it is above the main. I want the header to come first. Remember, definitely don't put the header inside the main. The header is going to come first, then the main, and then we're going to have, can you guess? Can you guess? You're right. Footer. Footer is going to come next, okay? So what we're going to do here is instead of section, I want a semantic tag called header. And I'm going to I'm going to label this header as well even though that's redundant. I don't want this to say section and this to say header. It's literally the header. So I want the label and the semantic tag. Remember the label is just for me. The label is just for the developer. So when you look in the structure panel, you can see stuff labeled that's nice and clean. None of that gets output on the front end of the website. The tag right here is what gets actually output in the code. If I zoom in down here, you can see this is now the code. This is what I want to see. All right, so now I'm going to come up here in the inner, and this is where you would be able to add your logo. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click SVG. I'm going to let this little etch icon serve as the logo of the website for right now. But since we don't have any styling, and if we didn't put any logo in there, you wouldn't even see a header. You wouldn't even say it would just be blank, blank boxes on the page, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then we are going to take a trip to the front end. And you see that I'm looking at the home page. Since I added my header to the index template, which controls everything on the website, unless a more specific template is declared, I see my logo. And if I right click and I inspect, I'm going to see my header. And now more of the semantic structure and architecture of the page is coming together where I have a body, right? I don't want to hit add attribute. I have a body. I'm going to open the body. I'm going to see a header right here. The admin bar is only there because I'm logged in, right? If I, if you could just delete that, if I wasn't logged in, you wouldn't see that. You would see the body and then you would see the header. And then in the header, you would have that inner container that we added. And then you're going to have the logo, which is an SVG. And then if we close the header, we see that we have the main and there's our first section, which is our hero section. So that's it. Like uh, like so many people are like, how do I add a header? And they, that's it. We're going to go and etch to the index template. We're going to pop in a thing that says header <laughs> and, and we're going to live the rest of our life. That That's pretty much it, right? Of course, other things will go in the header. Now, let's talk about other uses of the header tag because there can be more than one. And... I will tell you this, this is where I'm going to warn you. There is a lot of ambiguity in the spec, in the documentation, the official documentation for how semantic tags should be used. There is a lot of ambiguity. There is a lot of argumentation. There is a lot of disagreement, okay? And so my general position is we want to get the main things right. Like for sure, there's going to be a header, a main header of the website. For sure, there's going to be a main tag. For sure, there's going to be a footer tag. Now, you can drill down into levels of detail where when you are creating an article card, like a card that's going to be in a grid, and we're going to use the semantic article tag, you can have a header inside of that article tag that wraps the heading and perhaps the meta data for that article. You can get to that level of granular detail with your semantic tags. I have always asked, you know, what is the exact payoff of that? Well, one, it's incalculable. It's not really measurable. Um, it has negligible benefits, marginal benefits. I don't know what the best word for it is, okay? Like for screen readers, it can 
marginally create improvements in certain ways. Uh, for crawlers, AI bots, things like search engines, okay? I guess a marginal improvement in the understanding of a page. Are they super duper required? No, of course not. Should we bother adding them? If it doesn't require that much extra work and you're getting so good at your job that it's super easy for you to interpret exactly what needs to happen and throw in every single semantic tag, cross every T, dot every I, I guess, I get, yeah, 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 do it. Um, I worry about the big things. I worry about the main stuff, okay? And then as I go, I'm, I'm always trying to continually improve and get better and study and learn and do a better job on the projects that I build. But again, I also lean on the fact that if they want this stuff done, every T crossed, every I dotted, they should provide documentation and examples that is not so abstract and convoluted and nebulous. And like, there's just too much ambiguity, too much ambiguity. And it leaves one camp over here thinks you should use the semantic tag in this situation. And another camp vehemently says, no, you shouldn't do that. And okay, I don't have time now. I don't have time for all of that. So I will do the things that I know for sure to be true. I will take care of all of the major aspects of the semantic nature of the website. But when it comes to all the granular stuff and how, how much that stuff really needs to be used, I'm gonna let other people argue about that stuff. I'm gonna let, and I'm just gonna move on with my life. I'm gonna build the sites and cash the checks at that point, okay? So that's gonna be kind of my recommendation to you. Should the website have a header that contains your logo and your navigation? Absolutely. Should a navigation actually use a nav? Absolutely, okay? Uh, there's, there's things that are just not really up for debate, but it depends on how deep down the semantics rabbit hole you wanna go. And I'll just tell you, I'm not interested in going all that deep, okay? Uh, so that is header. Uh, we're not gonna talk about using it in other places at the current time. Uh, I wanted to make sure that we got the main header of the website added. And that's all we need to do. Let's move on with our life.